What every executive needs to know before investing in AI. Everyone's talking about AI these days. Understandably, it's powerful and transformative. But AI is just one part of a much larger journey we call digital transformation. To explain, let me give you a simple analogy. Imagine AI as the engine of a car. The engine is crucial, no doubt. It powers everything, but it's not the entire car. You wouldn't buy a car just because it has a high-powered engine and ignore everything else, right? In the same way, companies that focus only on AI miss the full picture of digital transformation. Because your driving experience isn't defined solely by the engine. It's shaped by the whole car. The seats, the air conditioning, the safety features, the sleek design, the smooth ride. AI, like the engine, might be under the hood, but it's the user experience that drives value. Similarly, different elements contribute to a successful digital transformation. Things like data integration, change management, customer experience design, workflow automation, and governance. And someone needs to coordinate how all these parts fit together. That's where the architect comes in. The enterprise architect is like the chief designer of the vehicle, ensuring everything integrates smoothly. They don't build every part themselves, but they understand how each piece connects to create a valuable whole. So when organizations bring in AI, they can't treat it as a plug and play fix. It needs to fit into the broader organizational system, data, processes, culture, and customer experience. In fact, the technology itself is often the smallest part of the transformation puzzle. Depending on the AI being implemented, the tech side can often be outsourced or bought off the shelf. But when your data is unique and core to the AI's effectiveness, you need internal capabilities that truly understand and leverage it. For example, a chatbot using general customer service data might be easy to implement with an external vendor. But an AI model trained on your proprietary transaction history or customer behavior needs internal skills and focus. You can't just install it like an app. You need to embed it into your systems, train it on your data, and continuously refine it. That's why the role of architecture and integration is so critical, because AI doesn't live in isolation. Executives and business leaders must learn to see beyond the tech hype. They need to understand how everything fits together to create a sustainable and valuable transformation. That doesn't mean they need to know how to code a neural network or fine tune a large language model, but they do need to understand AI's dependencies, especially around data quality, privacy, compliance and integration with existing systems. Think back to the car. If you had $100,000 to build it, would you spend the entire budget on the engine? Hopefully not, because you'd end up with a powerful machine that doesn't go anywhere or serve its purpose. A smart leader allocates the budget across all the critical components, engine, suspension, safety, comfort, and design. The same logic applies when funding AI initiatives. The magic isn't just in the algorithm, it's in how it works with everything else. Now, here's another layer to the engine analogy. Companies like Honda specialize in making engines. But those engines don't just go into cars. They're also found in lawnmowers, generators, and even boats. Similarly, AI has many flavors. Machine learning, natural language processing, computer vision, and generative AI. These aren't one-size-fits-all technologies. They're like different engines, suited for different purposes. Leaders don't need to master the mechanics of each AI discipline, but they must understand what each engine is good for and which vehicle it belongs in. For example, computer vision is great for visual inspection in manufacturing, but not ideal for customer service automation. Generative AI might transform content creation, but might not be the best fit for forecasting logistics data. The key is knowing enough to ask the right questions and to invest wisely. Another crucial piece is change management because AI adoption isn't just a tech project, it's a people project. Bringing AI into your organization often requires shifting mindsets, rethinking roles, and redesigning workflows. 
employees need to trust the technology, feel supported, and understand how it benefits them. Cultural resistance is one of the biggest barriers to AI transformation, and it's often overlooked. That's why digital transformation needs more than just engineers. It needs communicators, trainers, and storytellers. Leaders need someone who can explain the AI engine and how it connects to the entire car. They need a partner who can clearly tell the story to employees, customers, and the boardroom. This is where architects and visual storytellers come in, people who can bridge the gap between vision and execution. They help turn complexity into clarity and hype into impact. AI is a powerful force, but on its own, it's just an engine sitting in a garage. What turns it into a transformational tool is how you design, build, and drive the entire ecosystem around it. Once you understand this, you can build an entire fleet of transformational AI, each suited to a specific purpose, all working together to drive your organization forward. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing. For a one-page visual summary of this and all future videos, please sign up on my website. To help tell your stories, reach out through my website as well. Thanks for watching.